to her. Okay guys, uh, today as we started off earlier, I don't know if I've got it started on this page, but we started off earlier, we rinsed and uh, cleaned this driveway. Um, we've got a whole area over here where everybody's wanting to set themselves apart from each other. What we ended up doing is we put a little bit of brown and a little bit of mica with some copper to make it so that it has a different look and texture as any other driveway. And then after we were all done sealing it, we've come back and done a border, added in a little bit more of the copper. And then that way, it's just a driveway that sets itself apart from another driveway. By you doing that, um, people like to be individual. You know, they like to have things that uh, look different than somebody else's. The cool part about it is, is the neighbors then want their driveway to look like this driveway. Uh, we started off this morning, uh, we cleaned this, and then we dried it after it was all dry and ready. As you've seen earlier on an earlier film that I did, we flood coated in some more half. After we flood coated in, Orca mixed with a little bit of bronze, or brown I call it, it's called, it's called brownstone. And I put basically two capfuls of brownstone into a half of a kit. Then after I sprayed the first coat, good flood coat, then I came back and we did a second coat, same color of brown, two capfuls to a half kit, and I went the opposite way. Instead of going one direction, I went the opposite direction of the way I did the first coating. Then after we were all done, now we're down here hand rolling just the outer edge, the border as we call it, with a little bit more copper. Same color, same color brown, we just added a little bit heavier copper into it. And then that way you can just Makes your border look different than the interior part of your pavers. So it looks like you actually had a different set of pavers put in. The good part about it is, is as it dries and everything dries down, it'll just look like you uh, really enhance the driveway. Um, plus, one thing I find with Orca is it's got leveling and flowing. So it's still gonna be drying and running uh, into the areas that aren't as wet. It's gonna keep running until it gets into that area and so even even a job you felt that you might have left not quite as perfect as you want i came back the next day and look at it and be like wow it did it did what it's supposed to and it kept kept flowing and, and leveling itself out to where the job ended up looking very very good in this case it was sprayed on really equally so the job this looks phenomenal um, and it was all done with orca it, it just made a difference, you know. I would say a little over a year ago, Greg brought to us uh, the Orca chemical, and uh, I told him, I said, I was happy with what we used before. And he says, well, you got to try it. I'll let you try one driveway. If you don't like it, then don't ever use it again. Before I was halfway done with that driveway, we went strictly to Orca. I have not went back. I have not used any other chemical on any driveway that I do. Um, and then another chemical that Greg has as well is stonefish. That's for travertine. That's for uh, any surface that is very flat with no groove or no grain to it. Put the stonefish on it and you'll get uh, an unbelievable job as well. It'll pop and look just like this. It's very hard to add color into stonefish, so don't try it. I've tried it. Uh, I had to actually hand get down on my hands and knees with a rag and wipe each individual paper to make it be right. So I would not recommend adding color to stonefish. Take the jobs as you learn them, as you, and we'll have classes and, and train you and, and teach you all what to use and what chemical, because we've been there and done that. You know, I mean, I've taken, I own my own company, I own Paver Sealers of Southwest Florida, and Greg uses me a lot because I do tell him the bad and I tell him the good about the product. So far, there hasn't been much bad, um, you know, uh, minor things that nobody could have, you know, maybe a, a kit kicked over and got a little bit of sealant in with the with the lock and it kind of locked up a little bit too early you have about two hours after you mix this you or you have to get it sprayed that's the bad so once you're ready to start spraying you mix your half and then go don't stop keep keep going until you run out um, it's not like other chemicals where you can just leave it set in a bucket overnight and reuse it the next day this will not work with orca because once you add your second part to it your your urethane once you add that to the kit it's going to lock up in about two hours so make sure you use all what you've got, that whatever you mix. The great part about it is, as I tell everybody, and if you watch any of my films before with Greg, it's very forgiving. And I like a product that's forgiving. So let's say I put too much in one area. 
and I didn't put quite as much in the other area, or if I started running low, because it's still leveling and flowing, it seems to find that spot you didn't get quite as much onto and help enhance it and help pull it down to there. So it's, it's a very forgiving chemical. Um, you could not be the most precise put it on. Now, if you happen to be very good at in laying out down your chemical, like we have done, it's very even, very nicely done. Um, and the job is just, it speaks for itself. I can't even tell you. Uh, look at the difference between this or even the neighbors across the street. They're all the same pavers. And uh, it, it's, it's such a dramatic difference. That, uh, it looks like these people here just put and installed a brand new set of pavers. Sure does. Uh, and everybody loves everything new. We all like new. The good part about it is, is by putting this sealant on it, you're going to enhance the life of your pavers as well because it will bead water and make water so it travels how it's supposed to instead of having water setting and piling up. So it'll bead it off and make it so it doesn't lay on top of the pavers. It'll actually roll down the hill like it's supposed to. Other than that, guys, it's it's easy. Get in it. Take a look. If you need any lessons, the good part about it is, is Greg, you know, he's the help designer behind this chemical. He will be glad to share with you tips on how to make it an easier job for you. My phone number is always available. Uh, you can call me if you have any questions, if you want to hear it from an applicator. I'm the guy who installs. I'm the guy who puts it on. So if I'm happy with putting it on, I believe that all you guys can be happy putting it on. Fantastic. It's getting steady. All right, we're going to go knock a few doors. All right, while he's finishing that, we're ready to go knock a few doors.